Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. This is BZ Plays here and today we are on the Crew 2 to test out the McLaren 12C, the normal hypercar edition of this vehicle. But before we get into that, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new as it does help out the channel. And yeah, let's get into it. So this vehicle costs uh, 777,000 crew bucks or 111,000 crew credits. Pretty simple numbers, uh, no extra digits, just zeros on the end. And like I said, it is a hypercar vehicle. And I think this vehicle is quite old. It came out quite a long time ago. It might have even um, came out when the game came out. I'm not too sure. But let's get into the customization of this vehicle. So obviously you can change the color, the livery, um, we're going to change the colour, but I don't know what to change it to, that that does look nice, the orange, it does look nice, but what looks better, this orange or that orange, um, this one, not as bright, I like that one, you can also change the livery as well, have a quick browse through some of the liveries, got the um, black, oh that looks quite nice to be fair, it's the little orange and black splatter, I do like that, um, I mean, they just, oh, okay, might have to put that on, yeah, we're going to put that on, decent, decent, a few decent liveries there to be fair, so fair enough, we just have uh, two hoods to choose from as well, a one carbon, one normal, go go the normal one, we have six front bumpers to choose from as well, oh, okay, going to go with this one, and as you can see, I have, you know, customised this vehicle already, um, but I haven't used this vehicle in a very long time so I cannot tell you what this vehicle is like so it's pretty much a new experience for me as well um, two side mirrors carbon or normal we're gonna go with the normal ones I think yeah uh, two rear fenders uh, we'll, we'll keep the carbon on there oh nice nice <laughs> uh, well we have two rear wings but we can't actually see them um, can we see them now? No. Alright, we have two rear wings, but I have no clue what they are. Um, we have six rear bumpers as well. Oh. Okay. Or is that too much orange? I think there's too much going on. We're just going to go with this one, the carbon. And also, we can change the interior as well. Um, keep it as grey, because nothing really matches that orange that well. But, there's quite a bit of customization there. There was two rear wings that we couldn't see, but... Yeah, there was a bit of customization there, not a, a whole lot, but there was quite a bit, more than some other cars in the game. And also you can change the vanity items if you wish to as well. So now on to the performance of this vehicle. Um, let me quickly take off the performance parts that I've got on as well, because obviously you can see it goes up to a 320. But its base performance level is 222 which is uh, quite low for a hypercar vehicle but again no one uses base performance vehicles in this game unless you are playing the game from the start and quite a few people have actually just picked up the game recently so I mean hey maybe the stats do matter for you but for me not so much so the base performance level speed is 206 miles per hour top speed and it has 625 horsepower so let's put on the 320 parts and see what this vehicle actually looks like with the best parts on um, all gold as well it doesn't change anything but it's got to say all gold but with the 320 parts on it now has a top speed of 278 miles per hour with 930 horsepower 0 to 60 in 2.33 seconds, quarter mile in 8.83 seconds, and brake distance 60 to 0 is 18.47 yards. So, this vehicle has decent stats on paper, but is it actually good in game? Well, I'll see you at an event to find out. Okay, we are at one of the events we tested out a vehicle on a million times, but there is no hypercar vehicles, uh, sorry, hypercar events in this game to test out. There's literally like four, three, four good ones. Otherwise, I'm not going to play the New York one where 
It's like 20, 30 minutes just to test out a vehicle. He's keeping short and sweet, but there is no short and sweet hypercar events, so we we'll have to stick to the same ones we've been playing for about three years now. But um, we're here with the 12C, and the acceleration felt fairly good to be fair. Turning wise, it feels decent. Um, I keep getting smashed, I don't know why. <laughs> um, but no, I mean, it feels light, it feels very light. Because um, I've been playing with the uh, other McLaren in the game, the uh, Senna. And this vehicle feels a lot lighter than the Senna. It feels like it doesn't have as much traction, but it still feels like I could pick it up and throw it. I'd I definitely couldn't, but that's what it feels like. It just feels very light. And it feels like it's about to explode going this fast, but I mean, it's decent. It does look nice as well, to be fair. All McLaren vehicles do look very nice, I will say that. Um, I don't think there's a bad looking McLaren. I probably am wrong. I mean, if you can let me know in the comments if there is a bad looking McLaren, then I will have a look. But in my opinion, most of them are decent looking and I mean I would not turn down a McLaren any day I would definitely not turn down a McLaren even if it is ugly looking I would get it just because it is a McLaren but um this 12C is doing it's doing decently I think there's a drift edition of this vehicle as well that we will try out in the future but for now only trying out the hypercar vehicle and that that braking was fairly good to be fair every time I've done this event I've always crashed there always crashed doesn't matter with what vehicle I've always crashed so um that was decent that was a decent bit of braking from this vehicle it's it's actually really decent and for 700k as well obviously it's not as fast as your Regeras and um Agueras and whatever other Koenigsegg vehicles you have in the game I forgot and your Chirons and stuff like that but it is a very solid hypercar vehicle to have and it is performing very well it's like it's it's, it's just average, it's not average, it's above average 100% above average but it's just not as good as the others and because there are so many good hypercar vehicles in the game it's just hard where to put this vehicle because it is a very good vehicle and it is definitely usable, uh, definitely usable in hypercar events but just because we have so many good hypercar vehicles and to compare this against them it's just very hard to know where to put this vehicle and um, how to rate it as well but very 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 uh, solid performance from this vehicle and I probably would use this again to be fair. I don't know why I haven't been using this more often, but I mean, we got the Senna now. No, no one needs any other car except for the Senna. So um, I guess that's probably one reason why I haven't been using this vehicle as much. But complete the event, came first of course, on Ace of course. So the final verdict of this vehicle, like I said, it is a very good vehicle. It is more like one of the cheapest hypercar vehicles to buy straight out only around 700k which is very good uh, there was quite a bit of customization as well in terms of visual parts a few liveries as well but quite a bit of customization not a lot but a fair bit and the performance was also very good as well it was very fast not as fast like I said as the others um, but it was still fast it had good braking and good handling as well so overall I'm gonna give this vehicle a I'm gonna give first price I'm just gonna give it an eight point two. An eight point two out of ten. It is a very solid vehicle, but I just can't give it any higher than that. Just because of all the other vehicles we have in the game. Um but the price really does give it that edge because it is so it's so much cheaper than the others, it is definitely usable. And if you have used this vehicle, don't forget to tell me what you think of it down below in the comment section. And while you're down there, don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.